Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Kalia Malcolm. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, February 13, 2024. Now let's go to Catherine for today's Black History Spotlight. Thank you, Kalia. Good morning, Patriots. For today's Black History Spotlight, we'll be learning about Fritz Pollard, who was the first black coach in the NFL. This amazing coach was born in Chicago, Illinois. Fritz Pollard went to Brown University and led them to the Rose Bowl in 1915. He was the head coach of the NFL team, the Akron Pros. While his football career, the pros were undefeated to win the league's first victory. I wonder how they would have done if the Super Bowl existed back then. Now let's check in with some for today's lunch. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is beef and cheese nachos, salsa, Italian sandwich, pickles with pizzazz, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced peas, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is blueberry muffin, Lucky Charms, drink cheese, fresh banana, and 100% grape juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time. It's a always bring a lunch card. And don't forget to inform your teachers if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit and let's go back to Kalia. Thank you, Samara. That sounds delicious. Patriots, keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And there is no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So for tomorrow's activity, teachers, please record your students singing Candy Girl. This is going to be so cool, especially since it's going to be early release day. The contest ends on the 22nd. All you teachers have exactly a week and two days. I believe in all of you. This Friday is Random Acts of Kindness. It's a good day to spray happiness. Tomorrow, 5th and 6th graders will have the chance to go to the Patriot Store. It is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Please make sure to come on time. The instructional software is ongoing. K through 5th reward will be a glow-in-the-dark party, and 6th through 8th will be enjoying a nice meal with wings and fries. The challenge ends on March 15th, and the reward is only for whoever finishes the challenge. In sports news, yesterday's boys basketball game was canceled, and today is canceled as well. They will have their first game on Thursday, February 15th. In other sports news, our elementary basketball league is in full swing. Here is last weekend's results and high scores. Our first game was between the Rockets and the Catholics. The Catholics won 10 to 4. Great job to Kilsia Wittens and Sincere Sinfort for having the most plays. And our second game was between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Bucks. The Bucks won 12 to 7. Great job to Aiden Ganny and Ethan Rodriguez for getting the most plays. And our final game was between the Golden State Warriors and the Chicago Bulls. The Chicago Bulls won 13 to 4. And again, great job to Javier Seda and Kamari Ivan for having the most plays. Great job, Patriots. You were all amazing. Now let's check in with weather. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. In other weather news, in Atlanta, they are starting to add electric buses. Electric buses are way better than diesel or propane buses because they give off zero emission unlike its other predecessors. Due to it being electric, the fuel is less and less to maintain. The executive director of transportation states that it is quieter and safer for ride for the community and the students. But an electric bus is two times as much as a diesel or propane bus. Do you think it's worth the price? Because I sure do. Now let's wish our Patriots happy birthday with Aliyah. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's birthday boys and girls are Demaya Bloodsaw, Harley Jimenez, and Gretchen Mendez. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Kalia. Thank you, Aliyah. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Jordan, Miss Greg, Miss M. Williams, Miss Daquan, Miss Anna, Miss Iwaiola, and Miss Blanc for getting the correct answer for yesterday's daily challenge, which was, in what year did Christopher Columbus reach the Americas? The correct answer was 1492, and today's daily challenge is... Daily Challenge! 
what word begins with an E and ends with an E but only has one letter? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. Have a great day!